Hello guys and welcome back to part number 11 of Let's Play The Sims 4 The Lux Life. So I just want to thank you guys for the over, not really overwhelming, but just the huge amount of um, feedback in the previous part. It really, really, really means a lot to me to see that you guys are enjoying this series and stuff like that. The drama is literally just to get, just, just about to get real, I guess you could say. Um, I don't have my pop filter on today, so if you notice any like sounds or just sounds different. I really am not in the mood to have that thing in my face right now. Um, period. So I'm just going kind of bare bones. Uh, I do think we need to work on Carrera's, um, what is it? Her, her, uh, <laughs> writing skill. Yes, Jen, total rain bright writing skill because, uh, well, we could be making a lot of money doing that. So we need to definitely have her focus on her writing skill while Faye's at work. Faye's actually going to start the doctor career today. Don't know why I'm singing, but hey, gonna go for it. <laughs> totally just went there. Yeah, I did. All right, so we need to get this girl up because we do not want the green stinky pits of shame on our first day. Um, so let's go ahead and have her take a quick shower here. Carrera, what is she doing with her life? Uh, she's actually just enjoying a nice bath. Um, oh, I totally thought those flies were coming out of her armpits. I'm like, what? I don't think I've seen this animation before. Uh, so she is in her third trimester. She will be giving birth any moment now, which is weird because I could have sworn she was not even in her second yet. Did she, really? I don't know. I don't know if she can actually go to... Um, the hospital or anything to like find out whether she's having a boy or a girl. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but I'm not going to really worry about it. We'll just kind of find out when the time comes. It'll be like a total surprise for the both of us, for you and I, I mean. So let's just go and have um, little Miss Faye here kind of speed it up. She will start now. Great, cool. So uh, Faye's hospital shift is starting now. Uh, care to join her or she she go alone? Well, obviously, the whole point of having her join the talk to career is to see her. So we will totally jump up on that bandwagon and... Uh, <clears throat> we will do it. Oh gosh, this thing is like in my face. Okay, I don't, I have kind of played in the doctor career just a little bit, like just a tidget. So I kind of have like the general idea of what to do, but um, it, it starts out kind of slow, but as you go through the career, it picks up a little bit. So it should be kind of interesting. All right, so we are at our clinical orientation. Welcome Faberman to a vital and rewarding career in the field of medicine. Being new to the job and takes take some time with uh, getting familiarized with the location, the people, and the basic responsibilities of the profession. In time with skill, dedication, and passion uh, to help her fellow Sims, Faye will no doubt go far in her career. I Oh, I love her scribes. My mom. <laughs> my mom who is a nurse actually has some a pair very similar like the exact same burgundy color so while we're doing that i'm gonna oh i can what oh i thought it said bring career here so we'll have her build her writing skill while we have Faye um working today so the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and grab a snack in between seeing patients so that's kind of important this dude here is our um nurse We've got our uh, assistant, Gilberto. We've got the technician or the doctor. Ooh, the doctor is actually Priscilla Vector, which is Josh Vector's sister, believe it or not. She actually looks like she would be um, pretty good for the job. And then over here is all of our patients. We have um, Lakeisha. We've got this dude here, Zachary Pickens, picking his nose, uh, Sylvia, and then I think that's it. And um, this is the rooms where actually the Sims give birth and have surgery and all that kind of stuff. X-ray machines, working out machines. Um, this is a treadmill test. I I've never done that before. Um, these are actually the workout uh, rooms for the, uh, I guess, the workers maybe I don't know and then over here is like the cafeteria where we would grab our snacks so the first thing we're gonna do is grab a snack um she is a little hungry so let's go and buy something we're gonna buy um uh a pastry for eleven dollars I don't have a lot of money to really be spending at this point so we're trying to conserve our cash as much as possible so we'll just grab a pastry because it's only eleven dollars so I'm just gonna kind of zoom through while she does that because really who cares um obviously it's a microwavable pastry and she gets off of work at 3 p.m., believe it or not. So there we go. We are already done with that. Uh, we need to greet two co-workers. So who would we like to meet? Well, obviously, we're going to greet Priscilla. 
And then I think we should go ahead and greet this dude over here as well. Uh, Mr. Gilbert, Gilberto, Gilberto, I'm sorry, Gilberto Reynolds. And uh, she's kind of done with that pastry. Or no, she's going to take that shit with her. I mean, oops, I'm just saying. <laughs> she's going to take the ish with her. Just just kidding. Um, so we've greeted one patient. And it looks like she's doing something very important over here. I don't know what she's doing. Uh, let's go greet Gilberto. Oh, he came to us. Sweet. We win. Oh, I thought she totally put... Oh, no, wait. I thought she put her pastry, like, right in here. <laughs> going to test that crap. Probably a lot of nasty stuff in it. All right, so we can chat with the coworkers for a little bit. We're going to ask about Gilberto's day. Oh, this breaks my heart. There's two kids here that are, like, really, really sick. Uh, we've got... Oh, my God. No, wait. Oh, I thought this was, um, I thought this was, uh, what's his face? I totally forgot what his name was already. What? The guy that we're dating. Why? How could I forget his name? I'm telling you guys, I'm like totally brain farting. Zane. I thought that was his daughter. I was like, what? Okay. So we need to chat with the coworkers. We need to chat one more time. Let's go obviously and chat, uh, with Mrs. Priscilla. And then we need to go make some conversation with one of the patients. So we're going to go over here and, um, We'll chat with we'll chat with Sylvia for a few minutes and and there's so many things you can do like you can take their temperature you can discuss general health you can treat the patient just a whole bunch of awesome jazz I really do like the doctor career and I have yet to touch the scientist career like I haven't even explored period all right so we need to deliver some food to a patient since we're here we're gonna go ahead and deliver some grub to Sylvia all right it seems like Faye. Already kind of likes this job. She seems to be doing quite well. All right, so there we are. We are delivering some food to Mrs. Sylvia Richmond. Next, we need to go ask about a co-worker's day. All right, so let's go over here and ask about his day since he's kind of across the hall. And then we need to research some health reports, which is very fun, I guess. See, it kind of starts out slow. It's just, it's a very slow career. I feel like... The police career, there's more. Um, but, I mean, I'm sure, like I said, it'll, it'll totally pick up once you get a little more into it. Um, we'll probably have her... I mean, if you guys want me to play more in the day of, uh, day of her life kind of sort of thing while she's at work, I totally will. But there will be some days that we'll probably just send her. Um, especially if she has not gotten a promotion or anything. It's just kind of same repetitive, same repetitive stuff over and over. Next, we got to complain about work. Uh, to uh, one of our coworkers, who do we want to complain about work to? We'll complain about work to Gilberto. It seems like he's had a, a few crappy days. I'm sure he knows exactly what it feels like. Um, and then we will go ahead and research our health reports really fast. So we've got kind of a little bit of a buildup in the lobby. We're totally keeping Mr. Gilberto um, from booking these patients, which is kind of sad, but that's okay. So let's just kind of speed through here. All right. Let me see. Okay, I just want to go and do my damn paperwork, man. God, these freaking co-workers can really chat up a storm. Okay, so let's get on it. Carrera is off to work. That is right. She works kind of late. I don't know if she... Let's take a peek here. Did she actually level up her writing skill at all? She's on level five with the writing skill. I'm actually surprisingly very impressed of how good of a writer she is. Wow. Okay. No, she's really good. I just don't think we ever really have her work on anything. So it kind of makes sense that, you know, we're not making a lot of money. These girls have a talent. It's just sometimes I feel like I just baby them way too much or I don't try hard enough. Maybe that's really what it is. All right. Let's just kind of knock out some of this stuff here. I do feel like Faye um, kind of has a knack for for caregiving. I mean, I don't know. She's had a rough first day. At least I feel like we're Still very much um, new to the scene. So there's there's a lot to learn. And I'm sure we're, we'll get it. And I can't wait to see her like be a doctor. Or you know what I mean? That would be so cool to see Mrs. Bay being a doctor. Her mother would be so flippin' proud. Let me tell you. Now this is where university would come in handy. Because it would be really cool to be able to go to university. To like learn forensics. And go to and learn like you know science and how to be a doctor or like health and stuff and then like take that practice into um getting a job like this and maybe getting either you know a better pay or a, a higher level or something like that or even having like an internship where you do like a certain amount of hours free that would be awesome all right so let's just go and have, let her have this cup of joe 
we're going to get off work in about two hours. So not much more left to really do. She should actually be drinking this coffee. Okay, once she takes a sip, it should register. Okay, so we only need to do a couple more things. We've got about, oh, we need to grab another snack. Okay, well, I can totally do that. Let's go ahead and grab um, a sandwich this time. Something a little more healthier, because last time she had a pastry, but it was kind of earlier in the morning, so it makes sense. Okay. And then once she got that, perfect. Okay, so now we have a gold medal, and we have one hour and six minutes left on the clock. Um, let me see if there's anything else that we actually need to do. We uh, only need to attend two active work days at the doctor's career. So technically, we only need to... Um, do this two or show up two times. Uh, I guess I could go ahead and start admitting the patients. Oh, look, it's our dad. We're admitting the patients to um, a hospital bed. Just kind of help out a little bit because nobody else seems to be doing it. All right. So I guess we even go ahead and like walk them to the room when we admit them. Cool. All right. Very nice. And sometimes he's like, oh, wait, wait, wait. We got something we can do. Uh, we actually can go ahead and make the bed. So let's have her make the bed really quick this will be her last thing that she does i don't know about you guys i think she had a pretty successful day at the workforce um i'm really proud of her she's definitely doing big things with her life um i definitely have absolutely no complaints she only earned 188 dollars and now i know what you're thinking jenna is not going to pay the bills girl i'm totally there with you it is not going to pay our 10 freaking grand dollar bills um that come in the mail but at this point what do we have to lose these girls may actually be facing a downgrade and i know you guys are like i'll oh, just sell some stuff or whatever but uh i don't know maybe maybe we'll have to <laughs> it won't seriously be selling stuff until nothing but the walls are freaking left we really sad i know the first thing to go is probably this big freaking screen tv all right so now that phase here we're gonna call we're going to call Zane and just kind of chat with him a little bit. It's been a long day, but she's actually really, really, really um, in a really in a good mood, surprisingly. So it wasn't that exhausting. Like her energy, health, bladder, everything seems to be pretty good. And of course, we have this freaking uh, garbage plant here. So we're going to go and harvest everything. Did we ever plant stuff in the backyard? No, we never did. OK, I thought we did. Was that in The Bachelor? I know somebody planted something, and then I totally, like, forgot about it. As usual, let's see what time um, she gets off work. So she'll get off work about 7 o'clock or so. Uh, she should literally be having this baby at any time now. Um, oh, <laughs> okay, so Faye found a decorated bag in the garbage plant. Yeah, I know, it's a little weird. Okay, so let's just, can we, like, weed this plant? I mean, I guess we could continue to take care of it and do whatever. I mean, it is giving us something right yeah no we earned ten dollars and we have this little egg here and then we have this egg and that egg so we've got thirty dollars worth of eggs very nice okay let me go see what else we can do in the house we gotta clean up it's a freaking mess in here it's gonna clean up uh, i know i have auto lights on so i'm actually gonna turn on all the lights once we get home and like at night i can i can turn them off but um once we leave the house and then when we come home to sleep. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and just kind of clean up a little bit around here. It's kind of a pigsty. Probably should think about getting that um, trash compactor thingy. All right. Carrera's boss asks her to drop everything and watch for a possible breaking news story. But she's really busy. She could focus in on like she's been supposed to. Or she could go about her day and hope some um, hope she catches something when it happens. We are going to actually have her focus in Oh, typical. It was a false alarm. Nothing happened. And all that time waiting. Oh, it could have been time she could have spent writing. Ah, whatever. Do we have our work hard today? We did. Okay, so hopefully she'll maybe get a promotion. Eek. That'll be really exciting. All right, so I'm just going to have Faye kind of finish up eating. I'm going to see if maybe Zane would like to come over for a little bit. Um, just cause I kind of miss him and haven't seen him. So yeah, no, he'll totally be right over. Maybe we'll watch a movie or I don't know, do a little woohoo or something. I don't know. I'm just really waiting for freaking Carrera to have this damn baby. I need baby suggestions. If it names, if it doesn't happen in this part, which it totally should. Um, oh, he's holding her hand. He likes, or she likes him so freaking much. Like, it's really awesome to see how, 
how uh, happy she is. And many of you think Zane's in it for the right reasons. And I hope you guys are right. I truly do. I hope everything's okay. Uh, we could go ahead and all. God, they're like inseparable. Jeez Louise, get your paws off, man. She could even propose to him if she absolutely want to. Uh, we're going to go and let them woohoo for a little bit. Hold on. Okay, I was like wondering what that sound was. It was like the little, arc were they called Arcadias or arc, arc something? Like the little bugs that make that, that sound, like that sound. I don't know. I thought they were called Arcadias. I don't know. All right, so we're breaking out those candles, and we are about to make it romantic. All right, let those two be. I want to see our girl here. She should seriously pop out this child any flippin' second now. Look how big she is. She's so flippin' pregnant. I love it. Okay, I wonder if uh, I could actually tell her, ask baby due date, ask to feel baby. Um, if I was, like, really good in the medical career, I do believe I could probably find out what the sex of the baby is. But I don't know if there's actually a physical way that you can. Um, let's just take a peek here and see if maybe there is. I don't know. Huh. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything, um, but we'll just go ahead and go about our business. Like I said, she should be giving birth any flippin' second now. She's absolutely tired, so let's go ahead and have her sleep. Maybe she'll end up having this freaking child. I don't know yet. All right, so what's Faye up to? She's going to go downstairs and play some book blocks. I don't think so. You actually need to come in here and scrub the damn toilet because somebody took a doopsie. A popsy doopsie. And um, Zane, what are you doing? He is like totally washing his hands right now. And I think he's going to go for a swim, which, yeah, we're going to go to. So let's go uh, do a little little swim swim with Mr. Zane here after we're done cleaning the toilet. Okay. Oh, these two are so flipping adorbs. All right. Let me see what we can do. We're going to uh, be enticing in the pool. I don't know what that would look like, actually, if you're being enticing in the pool. But we're going to... We're going to try. I do like that a lot of the interactions are available in the pool. So it's kind of kind of fun. Look how beautiful the sky is. Oh, Are you trying to grab my booty, Zane? I don't know. I think he might be. Oh, They're so cute. Okay. What are we doing here? Okay. <laughs> they like have matching freaking... Um, oh, my God. He is all over my situation. Oh, my gosh. A little banana hammock showing. Oh, my God. You're so cute. So cute. So cute. Um... I think we could probably invite him to stay the night. We've yet to stay the night at his house, actually, but we'll have him stay here. Uh, sleepover. Yeah, that sounds great. Cool. Uh, maybe he's hungry or something, so let's go ahead and uh, cook a, a little meal for him. Uh, we Ooh, we can make French toast. I, ooh, a breakfast scramble. Camper's stew. We'll make a camper's stew. And we had amazing flippin' woohoo with him. Meanwhile, Carrera over here is pregnant, bloated, and all sorts of stuff. And I'm yet just, I'm, I'm, I'm just really trying really hard to be patient with this whole baby situation. Um, cause I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if she's going to end up having this kid or not, but here's the stew. It kind of looks like, uh, Franken beans, like exactly like Franken beans, but, um, I'm going to call him to a meal. Zane, so he can actually eat it. And then I'm going to go ahead and come over here and use the bathroom really quick. Okay. All right. So what do you think I'm going to do next? Where the hell did Zane go? Is he sleeping? No, he's on the computer, of course. All right. Well, I'm going to go and actually have uh, Faye go to sleep now just because, I mean, there's really not much else for us to do in this part specifically. Uh, but I'm going to kind of fast forward a little bit and see if maybe, just maybe, Carrera ends up kind of giving birth and maybe um, having her child. Wait. Oh, she is. She actually really has to pee. Now, I don't think she's going to be giving birth in this part, you guys, but look at the freaking size of her belly. She is about to pop, and I can't wait. I cannot freaking wait. I really hope more than anything, more than anything in the entire world, that it's a girl. So, um, yeah, I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this part right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe, and let me know what you all think in the comments down below. Don't forget those baby suggestion names, and um, yeah, we'll totally see you guys in my very next Let's Play.